Okay, welcome to another ICT lesson. Today we're going to be looking at the 2016 practical paper, the spreadsheet section. Okay, this is one task uh, that those of you who have had an assessment uh, for this section recently. Okay, so we're going to have a look at how the answers are. Now, uh, for activity four, it says Martin uses the rental spreadsheet to store the data about cottages and to calculate the income. We can see we've got the details and we've got the calculations here. Okay, task SS1, open the rental spreadsheet. Okay, done. Open the details worksheet. Okay, we can see we have the details worksheet open. Enter task SS1, your name and candidate number. Okay, so now for this, you just go to your page layout. You go to your footer, task SS1, your name and candidate number and your center number. Okay, I'm just gonna put zeros in there. Okay, for now. Okay, so moving on to the first part of the question. Martin has bought a new cottage. These are the details. Add this information to the details worksheet. Okay, so let's change the layout view. Okay, uh, first off we can see that we can't actually see all the names here. Okay, two ways we can double click in between A and B to snap to best fit uh, or we can drag it open like so. We can do multiple selections and double click so everything will fit nicely. Okay, so have a look at this one, the cottage name Wheaton. Okay, we have three bedrooms, four star rating, and it's 95 pounds. Sort the table, sort the data in ascending order of cottage within descending order of bedrooms. Okay, what we do here is we highlight the whole table. We go to data and sort. Okay, so this sort will be on two levels. So to add a level, we click on this button here to add a second level. Now, sort the data in ascending order of cottage within descending order of bedrooms means that bedrooms will become first because be bedrooms is the uh, main sort with a secondary sort of cottage. So we go to sort by bedrooms, descending, so we need to go from largest to smallest, and then by cottage, ascending, A to Z. Okay, uh, click OK. And you'll see all the bedrooms here, all the four bedrooms are in order, like so. And the cottages are in alphabetical within the number of bedrooms. Okay, format the detail worksheet so that the currency values show the currency symbol with no decimal places. Okay, to do that, let's highlight the daily rates. We go to our currency option here. Now you can see we have uh, fixed decimals. To reduce the decimals, we use this button uh, here to decrease the decimals. Okay, you got the option to add or decrease. Okay, so we want no decimal places like so. Uh, make sure it is well presented and all data is visible. Okay, and then save the spreadsheet as task SS1. Uh, don't worry about printing for us at the moment. So to save it, just file task SS1 okay next question task SS2 Martin wants a chart to show the daily rate for the cottages that have fewer than three bedrooms create the chart that must include a suitable title and axis labels fit for purpose and saved on a separate worksheet okay so for this we need to add a filter to do that, we highlight again all the information that we have, data again, and filter. And you can see we have options that come up the top here now. Okay, uh, we want to show uh, that have fewer, less than three bedrooms. So, I mean, the option here, we can just take a tick on three and four to show this, uh, or we can go to number filters, less than three. Okay. Uh, we can see the results here. Okay, so we're going to create the chart to show the cottages, the daily rate, 
so we highlight our cottage hold down the control button to allow us to select the daily rate and we have our insert chart option okay we can go over column chart here like so okay and we need a suitable title which is the daily rate for cottages with less than three bedrooms okay and always when you have your charts you always need to have your access labels okay so here we have cottage as we have daily right okay next uh, we need to save on a separate worksheet to do this we right click and move chart okay we select the option move chart and we got the option to create a new sheet and they auto rename it to chart one which is okay we click on okay and we can see we have the chart here with the title axis labels uh, with fewer than three bedrooms okay so that's task ss2 complete we're now going to have a look at task ss3 okay martin has stored the details of rentals for 2015 open the 2015 worksheet okay let's have a look. okay enter a formula to calculate the income from each cottage okay so the income we know that we have a daily rate of 100 days rented 182 days so we multiply the daily rate by the days rented so equals we're going for b6 times c6 okay and that will give us the income for the first cottage in airedale uh, the total income in cell d32 So we're going to use our autofill and to add these up is equals sum. We take the first cell reference and the last cell reference D6 to D30 and that will give us a total of these cottages here. Okay, save the spreadsheet as task SS3. Okay, once you've saved it, you move on to the next questions. The number of days that each cottage was available for rental in 2015 is shown in cell D3. So the number of days that they're available was 350. Martin wants to know the percentage of the days available that were used for each cottage. Enter a formula to calculate the percentage used for each cottage. So the percentage used, if this was rented days rented here, 182 okay 350 days available okay we can see that that is 52 percent now when we divide c6 by d3 we get a decimal uh place here now to convert that into a percentage we click the percentage button and that will times it by 100 and convert it to a percentage okay which is 52 percent now, uh, we cannot just autofill down like so, okay? We need to use an absolute cell reference. You can see it doesn't work, okay? So if we have a look why it doesn't work, if we have a look, it is C7 divided by D4. We don't want D4, it needs to be D3. Okay, moving on, next one is D5, and further down here, it's got D19. D19 should still be saying D3, so what we do here is we put in the absolute cell reference use that for d3 now we can use autofill and then we have all the percentages used here like so okay okay so you're going to print the worksheets uh, don't worry for those of you doing work for me you don't need to print you're going to submit it to your google classroom okay uh, next task ss4 Martin is concerned that the percentage used for some cottages is too low. He thinks that the if the percentage used is less than 40%, by reducing the daily rate by two pounds, it will increase the number of days rented by five. Okay, so we need to break this down. So we need to work out the new daily rate. If the percentage used is less than 40%, 
we're going to reduce the daily rate by two pounds. So again, we can use our if function. If the percentage used, which is in E6, is less than 40%, this is our logical test now, if E6 is less than 40%, we can reduce the daily rate by two pounds. So we take our daily rate minus two. If it is not less than 40%, then it will be at the continued daily rate. So we just put in B6 there. Okay. And then we hit enter. And we can see if we autofill this down, the ones that we can see here which are less than 40%, 100, we're going to minus the two. If it is not less than 40, then we're going to charge the same rate. Okay. Uh, the revised days rented. Now again, if the percentage used is less than 40%, we're going to increase the number of days rented by 5 because we're going to reduce it by £2. So again, we're going to go to equals if the percentage used is less than 40%, okay, which is E6 is less than 40%, it's going to be days rented plus five, okay? If it isn't less than 40%, then we're gonna take the normal days rented, which is C6 on its own. So if we have a look at this, if E6 is less than 40%, then we want to increase the days rented by five. If it is above 40%, we want it to remain the same. Okay, we hit enter. And then what we can do is we can auto fill this down okay and the next part C is the revised income now if we have a look at this income okay this is the daily rate times the days rented the revised is basically the new income so this is the new daily rate with the new income okay so we're going to take our equals revised daily rate times the revised days rented gives us the new income and then we auto fill like so and we're going to look at D so next is in H32 we want the total let's go to H32 equals sum okay like so and we're going to save the spreadsheet as task SS4 Make sure they're wide enough to show the complete formulas. Uh, okay, now we need to make sure, as you can see, this is in the currency. We need to also add this to currency. Like so. So we go to general currency to no decimal places. Okay, and when we go to uh, formulas, when we go into print, we click on show formulas, uh, and you can see we can actually bring this back like so. We need to make sure that this, these are all the points that we're going to be scoring. Okay, so we need to make sure that the person marking this exam can see clearly all of these formulas. Okay, and then this is ready for printing. Okay, that's the end of the spreadsheet section.